Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to get the early release edition of the Mac version of Excel. So as I explained in the previous two videos, there's some awesome new updates for the Mac version of Excel, which includes pivot charts. This allows us to create interactive pivot tables and pivot charts and uh, interact with those with slicers. So this is a new feature of the Mac version of Excel, which allows us to create interactive dashboards like this. And we also have a new update to the VB editor. So here's the new VB editor in the Mac edition here, and a lot of new features that I explained in that previous video. So to get this early build, uh, it's very simple, and I'm going to explain how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Excel, just open any Excel workbook, and we do need Excel 2016 and an Office 365 subscription. So you will need Office 365. And if you have that, you can just go to the help menu here in Excel and click check for updates. And that will open this uh, Microsoft auto update window. And right down here, we'll see this join the Office Insider program to get early access to new releases. So just check that box right there. And then we want to uh, select from the drop down here Office Insider Fast. So select Office Insider Fast, then uh, just click accept here to agree to these terms. This is just letting you know that uh, the, the new builds are not necessarily supported and there might be some bugs here and that kind of stuff. So it's good to know that. Uh, click accept right there and then uh, click the check for updates button. So that'll check for updates. Now I've already installed the new release, so I'm not gonna see anything here, but you will see an option to download that new release, and then you'll go through an installer process to install it. And that's pretty self-explanatory, just follow the steps to install the new, pro the new build uh, or the new update of Excel. And uh, once you do that, you can close this window here and you'll have the new update. And to make sure you have it, you can go to the Excel uh, menu here and choose About Microsoft Excel, and that will bring up this window right here, and you should see version 16.6 .6 or later. So you'll see that there, 16.6 .6 or later, will let you know that you have this new edition that includes both pivot charts and that update to the VB editor. So some great new features here. And of course, like I said, this uh, version is a little buggy still because it's a pre-release build and Microsoft's getting it out there to get feedback from users. So they would love for you to share feedback as well. So uh, just close this window here. The best way to do that is right up here in the top right corner of Excel. You'll see this little smiley face icon. Just click on that and you can click this option that says, tell us what can be better. That's what it says there. I know it's cut off, but just it says, tell us what can be better. Just click that. That'll bring this window up here to send feedback. And you can type your feedback in here, include the screenshot of the current screen you have open, and even include your email address if you'd like, and then send. And that will send this directly to the Excel team, the development team at Microsoft, so they can gather feedback and make these builds even better in the future. So they really would like your feedback that will help make the product even better. So if you experience any bugs or anything like that, send some feedback. And of course you can also leave a comment uh, right below this video with any comments or questions, or if you're just excited about these new features, just let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.